Welcome back to the Eyes Report, where we're going over all 18 AFL clubs pre-season so far. Uh, in today's show, we'll be going over Hawthorne, Adelaide, Melbourne, and then finishing off with Sydney. So let's get into it. Starting off with the Hawks, we've had a pretty strange uh, pre-season through injuries, and then their coach, Sam Mitchell, are having issues with his health in the US and other things. It's been a bit of a wildfire, but on the injury front, Spearhead Mitch Lewis has rolled his ankle a couple of weeks ago, but he's all back. He's had a lot of issues with his body before, but this is on the minor side, so uh, it's good news because they need him at the start of the season. And Chad Wingard is the other one. He's in rehab and he's just working back from his Achilles injuries. It's simple as that. It's going to be a long road back, especially for a veteran like him, but uh, he's progressing and ticking all the boxes so far. And then Jack Ginevan, who they got from Collingwood, Left training last week with a corky, but all should be fine. Uh, they said it was on the minor side, so he'll be back training uh, fully pretty soon. And then Denver Granger Barras also had a minor left ankle complaint. But again, like Ginevan, this is on the minor side. Giath, exciting running defender, has had a lot of issues with his groins over the last couple seasons. It went to Qatar to get treatment, and he's come back and he's looking fast, uh, very twitchy again. So he should be integrated fully back in the program, probably within the next week or two. So that's that's a big positive for Hawthorne. Uh, with Will Dane, that stress fracture in his foot, uh, he's in a moon boot right now. And so far, he's just in the gym uh, doing weights and working his way back uh, through there. Uh, for general notes, uh, Blake Hardwick has been the name touted to move forward to fix some of Hawthorne's deficiencies uh, inside 50. He actually played there a couple times last season, I believe. Uh, but teammates have kind of compared him to a Jamie Elliott, Jamie Elliott and even a bit of Toby Green in the way uh, he can kind of win one-on-one -on -one and is good in the ground level. And he's a great kick of the football, so we'll see if that uh, continues on into maybe some of the practice games. Josh Weddle has been a standout. Running machine was really impressive coming out of defence last year. Uh, whether they keep him there or move him further up the ground on a wing, we'll wait and see. And various youngsters in Cam McKenzie, Bailey McDonald, and Henry Husswaite have improved significantly in their running. Now, whether that can translate to them uh, playing better on the field, we'll wait and see yet again. And Sam Mitchell, it's been a pretty rough pre-season and off-season for him, but uh, his staggered return uh, is improving. He was at the club on Thursday and will continue to work back. Uh, so it's been a strange mix for Hawthorne, but things seem to have steadied down ever since Mitchell's return. There hasn't been a whole lot of information coming out of Westlakes this pre-season. On the injury front, Rory Sloan and Wayne Miller are both back from hamstring complications. Nothing too serious. Uh, neither of them needed surgery, uh, so that's a great sign. Uh, Ruckman Riley O'Brien is also back. He had appendix surgery uh, in the off-season, but he's recovered well. Uh, Harry Schoenberg, who did his ACL last year and I believe around 18, is also doing some light training. So besides that, it's been a clean bill of health for the Crows and they have a majority of their players on the track. A key defence is the most intriguing area with Nick Murray, uh, who will be out for most of the year with his ACL. And they're looking to Elliot Himmelberg, the brother of Harry Himmelberg, who made a really good shift into defence. Well, Elliot's looking to do the same. Uh, Jordan Butts, Josh Worrell, Mark Keane, James Borlas are uh, all fighting for that spot alongside uh, drafty Daniel Kern. So there's a lot of names there, and you'd think maybe only two or three of them will actually be starting. So that's a, a big area of, uh, of the field if you're a Crows fan to uh, see who gets those spots. And the other midfielder is Matt Crouch, who's been very impressive. I had to bide his time, was out of favor, but came in at the back end of last year. Uh, he's been training well, and it looks like uh, he'll be starting in that midfield. So it's up to, uh, Matthew Nix, whether he decides to put maybe a Rochelle and Rankin in there more, or turn back to Sam Berry, uh, who was also out of favour last season. But uh, pretty quiet at Adelaide so far, so we'll, we'll just see how they progress as the pre-season moves on further. Melbourne has had one of the busiest off-seasons and pre-seasons so far, so there's quite uh, a bit to have a look at. Uh, on the injury front, uh, Lockie Hunter's had a sore calf, but he was actually back running this week, so that's a uh, a good sign that he's recovered pretty quickly. Uh, Harrison Petty has been missing most of the training with a sore foot, and uh, they've been managing him. And Jake Melksham is still on the sideline with that ACL. 
A Christian Salem who's been looking to move into the midfield has had a hamstring concern and Jake Leave is the other one to worry about. He's had an ankle issue and he's kind of been uh, managing over this preseason. And focusing on Clayton Oliver, he's still away from the club uh, due to personal reasons and there's still no timeline uh, for his availability. Uh, in general news, Tom McDonald has been used in defence and also up forward, so it's unclear what role he, uh, he'll be playing if he gets into the team in round one. Uh, Angus Brayshaw just took off the non-contact cap they wear at Melbourne. Uh, that means when they're training, you can't touch that player. Uh, so that's a good sign. It seems he's gotten over any concussion issues. Uh, he's been playing uh, off a of defence, so it looks like he won't be in the midfield or in a wing, but in a, playing a half-back role. Uh, in the match simulation, some of the notes that have been going around is their ball movement. It's the biggest issue they have on field. Uh, they've been using the corridor more, uh, quicker, shorter, sharper kicks, and then running off of that. So we'll see if that uh, translates into some of the practice games when we get to see them firsthand. So it's been a very busy end of 2023 and start of 2024 for Melbourne. Uh, everyone seems to be handling it okay. And we'll see how they track as the preseason goes on further. A team with a lot of recruits is the Sydney Swans. They've actually been uh, providing a lot of information to everyone, so they've been pretty easy to track. Uh, on the injury front, it's been very healthy, apparently much better uh, than last year's squad that was available, which is a great sign. The only big one is Callum Mills. He had that strange uh, shoulder uh, dislocation from wrestling with a teammate. So he's the big one, he's their captain, and he'll miss a significant part of the season. And young ruckman Lachlan McAndrew has uh, had wrist surgery. He's slowly coming back while uh, Campbell, Reid and Amadi are on modified programs but all are uh, moving relatively well and none have major issues. Uh, in general, all of the recruits have fitted in really well. James Jordan was a big standout uh, playing on ball in the match simulation last week. Uh, Grundy's been good. Adam's been really impactful, not only just playing but as a, a leadership a perspective and a veteran uh, mentoring all those young guys like Chad Warner uh, and Errol Goulden. Talking about Goulden and Warner, they have also been standouts, no surprise. Apparently Goulden's gone to another level, even if that's possible. And uh, Warner will look to be more consistent this year. And off the field, uh, Leon Cameron, who is the rival GWS Giants coach, has actually come to Sydney and he's the football operations boss. Uh, so it'll be hard to see what his impact is, but uh, obviously he's a veteran football uh, person and the Swans will be very happy to have him. So out of all the teams, Sydney will definitely be in the top three or four for their preseason. They're going uh, and tracking really nicely.